What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, you will learn what happens to tire tread as the tire rolls on the road and also what is slip. So without spending much time, let's start now. So this is your loaded tire and it is rotating clockwise with an angular velocity of omega and moving forward with the velocity V equals to RW multiplied by omega where RW is the effective or the rolling radius of the tire. As the tire is loaded, it will have different radius at the ground. The range of the radius between the A and B, I'm showing by R1. Between B to D is R2 and between D to E is R3. The radius or the geometric radius of the tire is RG. At point A, the radius is RG. At point B, I'm taking the radius equals to RW, that's the rolling radius. At point C, the radius is RH, that's the loaded height of the tire. At point D, the radius is equals to RW, again the rolling radius. And at point E, the radius is RG, the geometric radius. For understanding, I am showing the tire tread as the breast bristle, shown in the figure. The tail of the tread is on the tire and the head of the tread is on the ground. The tail of the tread will move with the velocity of the tire and the head will move with the tangential velocity of the tire. So when there is a difference between the velocity of the head and tail, the tread will get stretched. Now let's see the section from A to B. In this section, the R1 into omega, which is the tangential velocity, is greater than the velocity of the tire, which is V. So the head will stretch towards the left as compared to the tail of the tread. Now in section B to D, the velocity of the tire V is greater than R2 into omega. So the tail will try to get stretched towards right as compared to the head of the tread. Similarly, in the section D to E, the tangential velocity R3 into omega is greater than V. So the head of the tread will try to shift towards the left as compared to the tail of the tread. Now let's see this case in the micro level. The tire tread can be stretched either backward or the forward as shown in the figure. The first figure is for the braking. At the time of braking, the tire stops rotating and the tire is skidding forward with the velocity V. Because of this, the tail velocity of the tread is greater than the head velocity of the tread and that is why the tail is ahead of the tread in the braking case. This will develop a tension in the tread in this direction. On resolving it into the components, we will get the backward braking force Fb. Now in second figure, the car is accelerating. So a tangential velocity is greater than the forward velocity of the car and the head of the tread will try to get a hit to the tail of the tread and this will generate a tension in this direction and we will have the support force traction on resolving the component. So from here, we get to the following observation. When there is a difference between the peripheral velocity and the velocity of the vehicle, a force is generated and depending on which one is higher, the peripheral or the, the forward velocity of the vehicle, the direction of force changes. Okay, so this relative motion between the tire and the road is called slip and without slip, there is no force generation. Okay, as you can see, if there is no difference between the velocity of the tail and the head, the force will not generate. Fine. So slip is given by slip equals to minus of Vx minus omega into Rw whole divided by Vx, where Vx is the forward velocity of the vehicle, omega is the angular velocity and Rw is the rolling or the effective radius. When Vx is greater than omega into Rw, the slip is negative and the tires are skidding. You can see that the forward velocity is greater than a tangential velocity. And when Vx is less than omega into Rw, the slip is positive and the tire is spinning. Okay. So this much for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any queries regarding the video, you can comment in the comment box. Do like the video. If you find the video useful, do share it. And also subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. If you want to check my blogs on vehicle dynamics, automobiles and softwares, you can check on my website, the link is in the description box. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring.